Hi, I'm Anthony Creek, and I distribute the TextJet printers here in the United States. Today we're going to be talking about the RIP for the Echo, which is also the same RIP for the Shorty. First things first, we'll get into the shirtboard sizes, or frame size, we'll call it in the RIP. We've got a lot of different options here we can choose from, depending on the garment size. T-shirt type, the type of shirt you're printing on. Bright shirt is for light shirts or a shirt that you are not going to print white ink on. We've got a dark shirt with just white ink. If, if you have a, a picture that is only white, you can use that option. We've got these other options, dark shirt with a color and a highlight white. We've got split modes for the highlight white and the color. So those split modes are the one pass options. We have the two pass options which are the white in the color and highlight white or the white in color on a dark shirt. Those are not split mode and those are two pass so white first color second. We can also choose the density. We can increase or decrease as we'd like we increase normally if we're using a tri-blend garment to get a nice laid down of white. Decrease if we see that the print is acceptable and want to tone down the white ink, which is really cool. So we can determine how much ink is being laid out. But the default options are always going to be perfectly fine, so there's no guessing. So what you see on the screen is what you get on the overall output. We can drag and drop photos. So, I just dragged and dropped this one. We can scale it down as you saw right there. We can also get into some options here. We can put in the exact dimensions and how wide we want. Of course, it's going to scale proportionately. We can also tell it how far away from the top of the shirt board we'd like to put it. So, I can do that as well. I can rotate. So we can rotate. We can also center the image. You can center it from left to right or top to bottom, however you'd like. So we can also print two images at the same time. So this is what I'm going to demonstrate today as well. We can also crop the image if we have some type of misprint and we only want to print part of the image. So this is also a really powerful feature that I have not seen in a very long time or actually at all. I'm also going to demonstrate job costing. We can job cost just by a click of a button. If we're using these images to print on a dark garment, we can choose the white and the color option. And we can also deactivate one of the colors. So if we have a misprint on the white side, we can just print the white and then the color next. Or if we just want to see how the white prints out after that misprint, we can and deactivate the color. Then the next time around, we can choose to print the color. We can also look at reports. So when we click on the reports, we can see the last image that was printed in the reports tab. We can also load the same settings so the same settings from the previous print are loaded. We can also archive, so it will store a print that we normally reprint a lot. So this will help you to reload the settings. If you have somebody operating the printer, it's a really powerful feature so that there's no guessing on which settings to use, even though it's very easy. But as we all know, no matter how easy we make things, there's always some type of mistake. Okay, so we'll go back to our color shirt option. 
And here is where we can archive things. So that option is right there. And of course we have our resolution. We can choose whether we want high resolution or lower. For the purpose of this video, we'll use the 720 by 720 setting and we'll print. So now it's printing. It lets us know the progress or if there's any trouble for some reason it'll give us some type of error but you'll see if there is an error like some type of misconnection for some reason it will display the percentage as well. So right now we're demonstrating the fact that we're printing two images side by side and on the, even though they're two different images they have two different colors. Well uh, one image has more colors than the other and I'd like to show the fact that they're two different images the colors come out how they should come out properly next to each other. So what we see on the screen is what we're going to get in the output. You should not have to, to mess with colors to print out the way that you want them to. Again, this is the 720 by 720 setting. Also, note that this shirt does not have any pretreatment. The shirt was just pressed so the fibers could get pressed down. Colors are true to what we saw on the screen. So basically, folks, what you see is what you get. And this is why I really love this rip. It's easy, effective, and powerful. If you have any questions about our products, feel free to give us a call, send an email, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.